everybody, Rob here from Rob's Holiday Decor Reviews, and today I have a different video for you. Um, there's a hidden gem on the Jemmy website, and this was pointed out to me by um, Josh, the inflatable tractor guy. Um, he sent me this link, and I had no idea it was actually on Jemmy's website. So I'm going to show you this pretty cool find that is buried on their website, and then I'm going to kind of give you like my reaction to it. So, if you go to the Jemmy website, <clears throat> and you go all the way down, and you go to Latest News, so you click on that, it'll bring you up some of the latest news items, but about the third or fourth one, yeah, the fourth one down, there is a Good Morning Texas um, Visits Jemmy link. I'll click on that. <clears throat> And what this is, it is a tour of the Jemmy warehouse. And in this video, you can see some of the 2020 new inflatables. Now, this is mostly for Christmas. Um, and, but if you do a stop frame, you can actually see a few of the Halloween stuff, but not clear enough to make it out. So basically what we're going to see today is just a lot of the Christmas stuff. So this is a 2019 um, video. However, you can see some of the stuff that's new for this year on it. So I'm going to watch this and then kind of just give you my uh, take on it. All right. Okay, guys, <clears throat> before I show you this video, the sound in the video, when I record record on it, or record it, doesn't show up very well. So I'm going to put the link to the video down in the description below so that after you've watched this, you can kind of watch the actual video and you can kind of hear the commentary between um, the news anchor and the Jimmy employee. <clears throat> Um, but on the one I'm going to show you, I'm just going to kind of talk over everything. Um, just that way you just kind of hear my thoughts and everything on what's seen in the video. All right, let's get through this really quick. Yeah, we're gonna... Okay, I don't know why they don't put lights in all the reindeer. We'll just look cooler that way. So you're going to see a lot of the old 2019 stuff, and then you'll see some stuff that's brand new. All right, I see something huge right now, and literally huge. We have a 20-foot snowman. Now, as far as I know, Jimmy has not put out a 20-foot snowman. 16, I know, 16-foot um, inflatables like the Reapers and stuff like that, but not a 20-foot snowman. I've had a 20-foot snowman. It was not made by Jimmy. It was huge. I mean, huge. And the problem was the wind just kind of blew it everywhere. But that was when I first started getting into inflatables. I think now I'd be able to stake it a lot better. But if that's a 20-foot snowman from Jimmy, which it sure looks like it is, um, that would be something to definitely consider putting in a display if you're looking for a showstopper because anybody who drives by your house is going to have to stop because these 20-foot inflatables are absolutely enormous. Now, I don't know what the price point would be on that thing. I'm guessing $299, $250 at the cheapest. Um, but yeah, so that is a huge, literally... Um, fine there. So I, I'm hoping that's for 2020. The pie eating contest. This guy's like the VP or something of, of Jimmy. I'd love to have his job. Well, this is a Lowe's exclusive here. I think that one's already been out. This moose is kind of cool. Up here towards the top, there is like a clock or something that looks kind of cool. It might be animated at the top. You'll see a, a little bit better shot in a second. Another tall Christmas tree. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can kind of see a little bit up there, and there's something going on up there. Another Lowe's exclusive. Maybe this was the Lowe's exclusive. I don't know if that other one was Lowe's exclusive or not. Get some really cool Star Wars ones up here. Okay, let's stop here and talk about this one. The living projection inflatables. Tons and tons of potential. And you'll, if you go back and listen to the video, this guy like really, really talks them up. And they had tons of potential. Like they could have been fantastic. But they're, they're so dim. The projection is so dim on them. And the music so hokey because it's not even like the real music from the shows or even voice acting or anything. It's just like instrumental that just repeats over and over again. So it was a big, big letdown. And they were expensive. It's just a great idea. It's just you're not going to get in that price point a projector that's going to put out the amount of light that you need at that price point. Because you're going to need a very expensive projector. Now maybe there's some other technology they could use to make it show up better. I have no idea. And they got to change the music. Like have actual scenes from the movie or the cartoon or whatever it is. Or the real music from the soundtrack. You would think that with the licensing they have, they could do that. I don't know. Maybe it's a totally different ballgame. But tons of potential, but a big, big letdown. I have this. This was sold at Home Depot. You can see the Home Depot. That was a 2019. That was a Black Friday special, like 79 bucks, I think. This was at Lowe's, this fire truck. It was a 2019. There's this Olaf back here. I had that one that was from um, Home Depot for 2019. But you'll definitely want to watch the full video so you can kind of hear everything that they're saying because it is kind of interesting. Now, in a second, they're going to show you something that um, I'm going to do for a theme this year for my 2020 Christmas display. And it's a theme I thought about doing before, but I just didn't think it fit with Christmas. But now the stuff's getting a little too cool. And here they are showing you right now, and I'm going to pause it. You have a Millennium Falcon inflatable, which she calls the Millennial Falcon. <laughs> she got that totally wrong. Uh, Mary Force Be With You inflatable. I think that is awesome. You've got over here, it's um, I don't know if they call it an ATST walker, but it's got Chewbacca at the top. Um, that's awesome. I definitely gonna have to get that one and I'll probably pick up a couple of these little ones to kind of put with it. And then Home Depot for years has had the Adat Walker, which they'll show you as well. And I've passed on it for years, but I think I'm going to pick it up this time and just do a big, not a big, but just do a Star Wars display that has these three big pieces and some of the little ones here. So definitely cool. I really, really like this one here along with the Millennium, or as she calls it, Millennial Falcon. Tons of Grinch stuff. You can see more of the Grinch stuff. you got Minion stuff, Snoopy stuff. Um, you got the Hanging Grinch. That's new for 2020. Then right here, if... I think this is the the Snoopy snow cone inflatable. I don't know if they're releasing that this year or what, but I will definitely pick that one up if they do. Um, when I was a kid, they always had that. That was a cool toy that I always wanted to have. Um, so, yeah, I would definitely pick that one up. Santa on a llama, if that's your thing. <laughs> Some Rudolph stuff. Yeah, you can see a lot of cool, just different things that were either came out in 2019 or are going to be new for 2020. So I will stop that there. So yeah, guys, definitely check out the full video. Listen to it. Let me know your thoughts on it. Um, I'm pretty excited for 2020 Christmas. Um, there's definitely some things I'm going to consider and definitely some things I'm going to have to get. Going to consider that 20-foot snowman, depending on the price point. Um, 
just how it looks when I see it. I imagine it's probably going to be pretty cool. Um, but I have to think about that one. that one. That one's just huge, and it's going to take some pretty strong staking down to get that thing not to be blown everywhere by the snow. Or not the snow, but the wind. But that that's really cool. Definitely going to pick up um, those Star Wars ones for sure. Going to have to add a theme, a Star Wars theme to my display this year. And that Snoopy uh, snow cone machine, if that's one for this year, I'm definitely going to get that one as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I wish we could have seen some of the 2020 Halloween. You can see some of it in the back, but not enough to really make out, you know, what they are or anything like that. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in again. Um, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, watch the full video of the actual tour. Let me know what your thoughts are on that one. Um, it's it's really pretty interesting. I'd love to be able to go down to Jimmy and do a uh, um, a walk around of the warehouse and film, but probably doesn't happen very often, which could be why it's one of the first videos I've seen on that. All right, guys, so take care, and I will see you on the next video.